Hey guys, what is up? It is Pieces of Prestige and welcome back to Building Park Miranda. This is already episode 11 and today we are going to do some pretty awesome stuff and also some very clumsy stuff. And <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys are ready for that. What we're going to do today is theming the coaster Red Fury, the first wing coaster. Well, basically the first coaster in the park. And it's going to be pretty awesome. Now I must say, like a little disclaimer up front is I am pretty bad at placing like foliage and some scenery and stuff so you know I am trying to get better with it and trying to practice a little bit you know I might practice some more especially on like other projects that are coming soon and um, yeah just you know bear with me as you might cringe while I play some foliage in this episode especially like trees and stuff I kind of like feel it maybe overdo it a little bit but let me know what you guys think like at the end of the video um, what you think of my foliage skills, uh, maybe you think like, well, they're not that bad or, you know, maybe you can give me some tips or whatever, um, will be, will be pretty awesome, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get better at it, of course, so, um, yeah, right, so what I want to, like, start off with today is the theming of this coaster, and since its name is Red Fury, and someone also said this in, like, the previous uh, episode's comment section, um, basically it should be themed with red stuff, and I thought, you know what, actually, he is preaching the truth, it should be kind of themed with red stuff. And I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and make it kind of like Bizarro. I suppose there is also going to be some other coasters um, that have this kind of framing stuff. Uh, but Bizarro is the one I know, and that actually has like the Superman logo. Uh, or well, it had the Superman logo, now it's like purple stuff. Um, but it's basically a frame that the coaster goes through and it, like the train fits through it perfectly. And you kind of get this really... <clears throat> Uh, speedy feeling I suppose you know when you're flying through objects that are very close by you, you know with the parallax effect it, it you know creates more of a sense of your speed and it's it's kind of cool so I decided to do that I added five frames right here and in the end of course I painted them red I don't want to keep them this color but I painted them red um, but let me know let me know what you guys think you know is this is five enough should I put more or maybe like put some more on another part of the coaster? I don't really think so. I think this is kind of like perfect right now. Um, you know, <laughs> perfect as in uh, for my standards, I suppose. Um, now right here, just making the little brackets that hold up these things. You can see on the bottom, they're not really connected, but you won't really see the bottom anyway. So I'm not that like freaky about that. You know, it's, um, I think it's all good like this. Uh, adding some little different bracket on the um, on the last one because the last one is kind of more like pointed downward so it didn't really connect that well uh, but yeah that's basically that and right here this is also kind of a dominant part of this video uh, which is going to be the track work and also the bridge work right here as you can see this uh, train track right here it passes over the coaster and I didn't want to make it like with the normal supports because I don't really like them that much I did want to make another truss bridge and this truss bridge is going to be a little bit different than the um, the other one because as you could see we don't have that much space underneath the train tracks to make the bridge or support the bridge in any way like make these big trusses that are underneath it like the last one so I decided you know what I'm gonna try something else we're gonna try to make a truss bridge with the trusses alongside the track so that basically the bottom of the track aligns with the bottom of the truss and I think that worked out perfectly for this and right here you know I, I really love making trusses this way just making them in the center like exactly on the line for like um, the building grid and then just simply uh, copying it with a grid aligned piece and that's just epic it works so easily and you can easily just fill up your entire truss like this took me I don't know a couple of minutes to make I suppose maybe even less I'm not sure um, you know, of course, this is sped up, so, yeah. <laughs> but right here, making the, like, the, the little thing four meters wide, I think that's that's good for now. And uh, just copying and pasting it, like, inside the building to make a very long truss. And I thought, you know what, this doesn't look that w uh, good because it is way too long. So we're going to add a little center, center pillar, like, uh, in between the two coaster tracks, I suppose. And I think, you know, that's kind of a really good, like, finishing touch to it. And right here also, like these cross braces, uh, I did have to move the uh, entire bridge down like a little bit with the advanced move tool because of course they stuck right through um, the track. So final adjustments right here, you know, to make it fit the tracks perfectly. And then just adding the foundations for the bridge. And these foundations, I'm not sure if I wanna go with these like, uh, with the type that I tried right now with like the circular or oval shaped um, like, pillars I suppose underneath it 
like in the center i think it, it looks kind of cool but right here on the end it, it kind of looks weird you know to have like the the bridge just come off of this round thing um but we might you know change that up in the in the future and uh i think that's all going to be good now right here as you can see i'm adding these little crosses right here and you might think like why is that but like railway bridges uh when they have these it's basically you know normally for steel structures and uh, these kind of you know disperse the um the effects of the braking force of a train on the bridge and i kind of wanted to do that here as well you know make these little crosses and just copy and paste them all over the bridge and it will look a little bit better i thought and i'm really happy with the result i might also like add some more stringers so some more um pieces of wood like in the length direction of the bridge uh in the like in the direction of the span and that would be a pretty cool too like in between the crosses and it would just look a little bit better um but yeah we'll see about that you know maybe i'll do that off camera and just show it next episode or something like that um, now I also want to do like in the future, maybe episode 15 or so, I kind of want to do a little, um, a park tour of what we have built so far. How do you guys think about that? Like, how do you feel about that? I think it would be pretty cool to just do like maybe half of the episode, like the first five minutes or something, uh, just do a little tour. And then after that, like do the rest of the video with a time lapse and just continue building stuff. And that would be pretty cool. But yeah, I still, I'm still kind of debating on that, you know? questioning myself like should i do that should i not do that but we'll see how that goes now right here adding some more special effects i really wanted to add those flamethrowers because of course it's fury and it's furious and it's hot and it's cool and uh well it's hot and it's cool yeah that, that kind of contradicts itself but <laughs> yeah i really wanted to make these triggered so uh i did have to go through the hassle of adding these triggers what i do really not like about adding triggers is that it kind of controls the camera as it you know, pans right uh, to the um, trigger that you placed. And when you place a trigger, you know, when you have a trigger right on the end of the track, like at the brake section, it's always going to go right in front of that brake section. So I had to zoom out and do that. You know, I know it's um, <laughs> it's not really an issue, but, you know, it's, it's just kind of minorly annoying. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much that. I will have to move those triggers back a little bit, I think. Uh, but I'm really happy with the result, you know. Uh, because it's kind of like a splashdown, but then with fire. So it's just a really nice touch to it, I think. So basically just zooming out to get more of a feel for it. And I decided, you know what, let's go ahead and go further with these train tracks. And as you can see right here, they kind of um, converge with the uh, like the path right there for the lake, uh, like the boulevard. And the reason for that, like I said this a couple of episodes back. Well, actually, I said this like in the, in the third or fourth episode, I think. Um, or maybe later. I'm not sure, but I said like I want this train track to go around the lake and I want the uh, path, the boulevard path to go underneath the train track. So we can make a bridge right there and like the path will actually go into the park and the railway will just keep on going like through the uh, over the edge of the lake. And I think it's going to be pretty cool. I'm not sure how that is all going to, you know, go in the end, but I'm sure we can work something out and make it work and make it awesome. Now, right here, I will have to do some more smoothing, and I'm really sorry about this, like, super awkward scenery. Uh, well, the, the foliage, basically. I'm really, really bad at placing trees and just, like, planning out right here a little bit of a test POV. Um, but, yeah, you know, I'm just... Hmm. Yeah, let me let me know what you think about the foliage. It's um, I might have to work on a little more. And right here, like, the little tunnel that you can see, like, this this thing going through i really wanted to this to be like straight walls and have them made out of concrete but you know i can still do that as you can see right here if you just um basically pull like the terrain towards the path it automatically out of the little wow it automatically create this uh automatically it automatically yes it automatically creates this little corridor and um you know right around your path and it's just awesome we can just add some concrete stuff to it and it, it will look pretty epic i think and right here just adding the last bit of foliage and just looking over the park getting some more inspiration some more feel to it i do have to still like theme that little building over there that you saw it's still very naked but that's all gonna come later now right here just adding some more plants and that'll be the end of it i suppose so yeah i want to thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and click the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, which is going to come next Friday. So until then, peace from Pieces of Prestige.